so it seems that marijuana is getting closer and closer to being legal. I heard that in California, it's nearly legal for recreational use. Is that awesome, or what? Of course there will be many areas of lameness that come along with it being legal. Like the fact that the government will regulate the sales and distribution. That makes one wonder if there will be good pot available, or if they are just going to put shitty weed out there and charge an arm and a leg for it. And believe you me, I can't afford prices like that. I'm at a severe disadvantage compared to most of you two leg fuckers. And I'm sure that they will have to start tagging the packages with warning labels. Everything that anyone sells these days pretty much has a warning label on it. I wonder what they'll say. And I wonder if they'll have different ones on different packs, like cigarettes. Like, one will say, using this product may cause lung cancer and emphysema. And another would say using this product may cause everything to be way cooler. Hopefully they won't have the same people who write most of the precautionary statements for everyday products, writing them for marijuana. They should have one that says, using this product may cause you to write stupid ass precautionary statements for everyday products. I guess a lot of them are just to cover the manufacturer's asses. But have you seen some of these recent warnings? After I saw a couple of totally ridiculous ones, I started paying attention, and oh my fuck. Some of these are just too much. Of course you have heard the ones for the pills they prescribe for restless leg syndrome? No? Haven't heard this one? Using this product may cause compulsive gambling and strong sexual urges. I think it should just say, don't take while in Vegas. So after hearing those silly precautionary statements I started checking out warnings that I would normally ignore. There are some good ones out there. On a can of insect spray it said, may be harmful to bees. Really? On a bag of peanuts it said product may contain nuts. And I didn't think that motorcycle riders were considered any dumber than car drivers, but I saw a rear view mirror on a motorcycle that said, objects in mirror are actually behind you. Wow. Then there are the totally weird ones, like I saw a chainsaw that had a sticker on it saying, do not attempt to stop chain with hands or genitals. Seriously. D. Oh yes, that mean that someone actually did that once. I saw a curling iron that said for external use only. Are you telling me that a chick actually? Never mind. Here's an even weirder one. On a mattress, it said do not attempt to swallow. What? That one may have been attached to the wrong product. And this last one I have for you is pretty sweet. On a bottle of children's cough syrup. Warning, do not drive or operate machinery. I guess this means they assume either kids are going to try driving once they slam a bottle of this shit, or that a lot of adults are abusing children's cough syrup. With warnings like these, it makes me wonder who writes these fucking things. I wish I could write the precautionary statements for weed when it becomes legal. I would put like, caution, using this product may make music sound way more awesome. Or, Prolonged use of this product may cause you to be extremely diplomatic and easygoing. Anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. Thanks for listening. Now get the fuck out of here, you dicks.